My name is Randall Horton, and I'm a associate professor of English here at the University of New Haven. Um, my path to teaching is a journey. I originally enrolled at Howard University back in the 80s and made it all the way to my senior year. And I made a couple of life decisions that would affect me for the next 28 years of my life. Um, I became one of those statistics that you see of young black men in the 80s who fell victim or who was seduced by the power of money and what you know cocaine and drugs would bring. I found myself on an almost 30 year odyssey um, with the highs and lows of that, which ended in incarceration in which I was originally sentenced um, to five years in the state of Maryland and three years back up time in the state of Virginia. While I was incarcerated in the county jail in Montgomery County, I met a few people and was mentored uh, in this program called Jail Addiction Services. And I met a woman named Bonnie Boswell who took a very keen interest in me um, and really encouraged me to write. Um, no one had ever told me that I could be a writer before. And I really took that to heart. But the other thing is, she told me that once I go to prison, um, she was going to bring me back before the judge and see if we could get my sentence commuted. I applied for what they call a motion for reconsideration. Uh, I went up there and did my time. I was called back before the judge. The judge commuted my sentence. I was sent to the state of Virginia. They wish they commuted my sentence as well. And I was allowed to re-enter society. I ended up going back to Washington, D.C., where I spent all of my time. Uh, I enrolled at the University of the District of Columbia, where I received the B.A. in English. I should preface to say that when I was incarcerated in Hagerstown in Maryland, I, be I began to be mentored um, by a one poet by the name of E. Ethelbert Miller, who I actually wrote uh, based off of a Washington Post newspaper that was in the day room on a Sunday and I saw that he had been to Howard University and he was a writer and I was trying to figure out how could I be a writer. I began to write short stories and things of that nature. So when I came back to Washington DC, Alphabert Miller took an interest in me and sort of um, became one of my early mentors. And when I graduated, um, I decided to get an MFA in creative writing. Um, and that led me to the Chicago State University in which uh, I received a Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing. My um, thesis, The Definition of Place, was published um, by Main Street RAG uh, right after I graduated. And I ended up trying to decide what I wanted to do, so I ended up going to get a PhD at SUNY Albany. And so I enrolled at SUNY Albany. Um, and my second book came out after my first year there, which was called The Lingua Franca of Ninth Street, which was again published by Main Street Rag. During my time at SUNY Albany, I spent three years um, in 10 study, critical, theoretical, and the creative, and got my PhD actually in three years. Um, so that was something that I was really focused on. And at that point, I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do with my life because I, I did not know but I knew I wanted to be a teacher and I knew and I had taught a couple of classes and I applied here at the University of New Haven. Um, and I was granted an interview. Um, I came and interviewed and they liked me and they decided to hire me. But um, also when they hired me, I had to come clean and tell them that I had been incarcerated and I had seven felony convictions, right? Um, which was one, was probably one of the most nervous times of my life and you know frightening as well. But the University of New Haven uh, and the people here, they really sort of heard what I was trying to say and they looked at my track record of the things that I had done and was trying to do, and they gave me a chance. So I came here as a, um, as a lecturer in my first year, and then um, they did a national search for a creative writer. And you know I was here and I was one of the ones that applied and ended up getting the job, so I became um, I was on the tenure track as an assistant professor. I spent the first two or three years I was here, I, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed it and uh, it became one of the things where I, I knew this is what I was meant to do. After two years, I was granted a National Endowment of Arts Fellowship 
um, in literature. My second book, my third book came out, Pitch Dark Anarchy, which was published by Tri-Quarterly Northwestern University Press. A couple of years later, I had a book, a memoir called Hook, a memoir, which was published by Augury Books and received the Great Lakes College Association New Writers Award for Creative Nonfiction. Um, and after that, I was actually probably the only, well, not actually, I'll probably be, but I'm the only person in the United States of America that has full tenure with seven felony convictions. And so one of the things I like to talk about when I go visit prisons and juvenile detention centers, I tell them about this journey because I think they need to understand that just because whatever, you know, mistakes and decisions you make in your life, that doesn't mean that it's over. And so I'm not necessarily one to sort of talk about my prison past in that context, but I do believe it's important so for people to understand that just because you make mistakes, that's not the end of your life. And so this is one of the things I really like to do when I go out and talk to, you know, those populations, right? And so that's one of the, re that's, those are the things that sort of led me to the University of New Haven. Um, and I've enjoyed my time here.